I have not done this in a long time, and one of the most common thing runners or any endurance athlete does is. <laughs> Great recovery, everyone. Great recovery after uh, not even a hard bike ride or a hard run. It doesn't matter how hard of a workout you do. It's, it recovery is the number one priority. It's, it's not even fifty percent running that is makes you run. It's more of that thirty percent. The other seventy percent is the diet, the nutrition, recovery, and all that. Everyone, I'm out. So fucking hot. I there, barely do. It's almost harder than any other form of exercise I do. It's so brutally hot. I don't even know. I can't even function right now. We try it out everyone. Try it out. Everyone. Oh my god. It's like the first time ever. I feel sick after an Epsom salt bath. Probably because I didn't drink enough water today. I only drank one of these and a few cups of decaf coffee. And it, uh, decaf coffee is basically water because it has no caffeine to dehydrate you really. Not that good. And I went on an hour on the bike. I didn't really sweat, but I still lose electrolytes. Oh, oh yeah, I know why I feel so drained right now. I feel so sick. It's because I took a laxative today, everyone. Them damn Oreos. Them damn Oreos. I will probably never eat an Oreo again. But that's why I think I have an electrolyte balance because um, if you didn't know, a laxative causes an electrolyte balance. It can also cause um, a brain decrease in water weight it can also cause your food to turn into acid if you really um, get really obsessive with it. Like drink two bottles of a laxative it cause you probably to not absorb any of your calories and it's not that good for you um, because it's literally straight up acid. It destroys your stomach. Probably why I feel so sick is the damn laxative, the damn Oreos. Not drinking enough water, but it's salad time everyone. Salad time, yeah, let's go. Let's go. See you in the kitchen, everyone. Everyone, I think I'm just gonna have to say, I'll see y'all in the morning. So I really just don't feel that good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, I can't do it, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna say, see y'all tomorrow. Everyone, it's the morning time, and it is 9.47, and... I'm about to go eat, and my leg this morning, uh, after the bike ride, actually felt not too bad. Uh, I didn't really wake up with pain. It was more when I walked to go, uh, use the bathroom. It kind of hurt, um, but that was it, really. Uh, not too much pain going on, which is a good sign. I have PT tomorrow, which is also good. Instead of doing Oreo pancakes today, I'm definitely gonna do the OG, like I said yesterday, blueberry. So let's get started with that. Everyone, some time has passed now. It is 5.10 right now, so actually a lot of time has passed, but I have not done this in a long time, and one of the most common thing runners or any endurance athlete does is shave their legs. The last time I shaved my legs was actually eight weeks ago, the, the last time I went on a run. Last long run I did was the last time I shaved my legs, which was a long, long time ago. I need to shave it up because I can't do it anymore. It's making me not feel like a runner anymore. Everyone, I want to go biking right uh, today, but I don't know if it's safe because I am strength training. I get, I think tomorrow because of PT. I think I'm doing a little strength, and that's gonna be my first strength in a long time because of um, being injured. I also biked an hour yesterday, and I don't think biking two days in a row, considering I did an hour yesterday, and or just biking two days in a row, no matter how long I went. Is smart and considering I got uh, strength training some chain tomorrow. I don't know if it's smart. I want it to. I want to say it's smart, but at the same time, I don't think it is, and it's making me feel like I lost motivation, for lack of motivation. But I want to do it. Let's get to shaving these legs. Everyone, I don't know how much filming I got in today. I mostly got all my filming into and yesterday. Uh, just because I was super busy today. Um, I was studying math and 
just got really carried away with it because it's just so hard and it's so pointless to my life. I had to study that for a long, long time. So I should do really good on that test tomorrow or quiz, whatever you want to call it. I have a bunch of stuff to do because they always want to pack crap into my schedule right before break and then um, do it during break and whatnot. Who is stupid? I don't need it in my life. I really don't. There's no point to it. We got them all smooth and cleaned up everyone. And they feel great. Feels like I'm a runner again. Just not on my two feet yet and running. Everyone, I would love to just go outside and bring my trainer out there and go on Swift because everyone, it feels so nice out here. Super nice, so nice that I would just love, 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 love to bring my trainer out and cycle. Considering tomorrow's raining, like another storm coming in. We always get storms down here in the springtime. But also, today was supposed to be raining and it's beautiful. Like look. It's beautiful, I just showed y'all. But right now it's freaking beautiful as hell, but they said it was gonna rain today. So, I don't know. I don't even know what to think. Is it even gonna rain tomorrow? Everyone, I'm just chilling out here now. But I just turned my hip a weird way. Like, I just did like this. Oh, and that hurts my glutes so bad. And then it ends up hurting my hip. Where? Like right here. Like right there where the injury is, the torn labrum. That's where the torn labrum is, everyone. The glute and the hip. So is it getting better? Is my injury getting better? I don't know, I didn't take any motion today. I'm starting to lack on it, but I, I tried to take it this morning, but I couldn't find it. It's a spider on the camera. Oh, it moved. And so did that bike ride actually help or hurt me? Because I took motion that day and that's why I felt no pain. So it actually may do more harm to my injury because I felt no pain so I continued or a decent amount of pain. And no motion today means pain and therefore I can't ride and if I ride out, do more harm. And the thing is with uh, PT, will that actually do more harm to me? I heard a PT actually can cause harm to an injury depending on what the injury is, obviously. I just don't know what to do. I want a bike because it's just gorgeous, but I don't know. I did bike yesterday when I felt a little pains here and there, but everyone, you know what I was just thinking to myself? You know how Easter's coming up if you do celebrate it? I remember Peeps. Um, I used to love Peeps. The little Tweety Bird marshmallow thingies. I used to always get them in my Easter basket with gummies and Hershey bars and all that. Might give me an, a Peep for Easter, everyone. <laughs> So I'm gonna take an Epsom salt bath. Hopefully I don't get sick today. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Make sure to seek happiness, achieve goals, and find glory. See you tomorrow. Peace.